friends! So this video is a little different than my normal videos. Pip, stop. Get your face out of there. Uh, so it is, if I look a hot mess, just so you guys know, I don't know what's coming out first, this or my vlog about what's been going on, but hi, I'm currently recovering from COVID. I have a video all about that, that, again, I'm not sure if that's going to be up before this video or after this video. If it's already up, you can go watch that. It's all about my actual experience with COVID. But I'm currently recovering from COVID, so I look a hot mess. And, like, my teeth are, like, orange because I've been drinking Dayquil like it's water. Pip! My cat is losing her mind across the room. My phone is blowing up. Uh, but, yes, so it is currently a long weekend for myself and my fiancé. So he has only ever seen the first Harry Potter movie. When I found that out, and then I watched a 20th anniversary special, I ugly cried at the anniversary special, and I asked him, hey, can we have a weekend soon where we just binge watch all the Harry Potter movies? So he said, okay, like next long weekend, we'll do it. So here we are. Um, I am a proud Hufflepuff, very proud. I had him take the Pottermore quiz last night, and he's a Slytherin, which I was not surprised by, and one of my sisters was not surprised by. The other one was, like, shocked. Because my sisters obviously know my fiancé very well as well. So, yeah. I am going to be introducing my fiancé, Tom, to Harry Potter. And pretty sure that this means I'm introducing you guys to Tom. I think this is the first time he's going to be on my channel. Um, yeah. So pretty much, because copyright, I'm not going to actually play the movies. But between every movie... I'm going to get his opinion on them, and during certain scenes I may try to film his reaction, so we'll see how that goes. He's currently in the shower, which is why he's not here for the introduction, but as soon as he gets out of the shower, we are starting our Harry Potter marathon, and I am so excited. Two hours later. So first movie down, what's your opinion on the first movie? Um, I still remembered most of it. It was fine. First movie, nothing special, just world building. Sure, it didn't feel like two and a half hours. Is it that long? Yeah, it's two and a half hours. Oh, wow. It's like almost four o'clock already. Oh, damn. And on to the second movie. Three hours later. So second movie is done. What did you think of Chamber of Secrets? Meh, mm, too much Ron, not enough Hermione. So you don't like Ron? No, oh, not at all. The games made me hate Ron as a kid, and I still do. What did you think of Lockhart? Who? The one who lost his memory. Oh. He was wacky. I liked him. <laughs> you liked Lockhart? <sighs> Are you ready for three, which is arguably the best movie in the entire franchise? I guess. I vamped, because three is my favorite. Although, we still don't see my favorite character yet in 3, so, like, it's also a thing, but... What was your opinion on Dobby? I don't like him. You don't like Dobby? I don't like <gasps> small troll things. He is iconic. Dobby is everything. I literally told you that I thought he was from Lord of the Rings. I didn't even know that that thing was from Harry Potter. We love Dobby. In this house, we love Dobby. Time for Prisoner of Azkaban! Two hours later. Okay, so, Prisoner of Azkaban, third movie. What do you think? I didn't really like it. Really? Do you at least acknowledge the darker themes and aspect of it than the previous two movies? Yeah, I think that's why I didn't like it. Really? What was your opinion on Sirius? I mean, I like Gary Oldman, so he was fun. And Lupin? Oh, I miss the guy from the second one. He was more fun. We don't like Lockhart. I Lockhart do. is like Rocco. We don't talk about Lockhart. He was a goofus. I liked him. He was kind of a dick, but he was a goofus. I liked him. What do you think about the time-traveling aspect? Yeah. How is it the best movie? Is the one that you're most ant about so far? I'm genuinely confused. Genuinely shooketh. But, last movie of the night, we're going to watch Goblet of Fire now. 
which I'm kind of amped for because, as anyone who's seen the series knows, pretty much Goblet of Fire, the entire series changes direction entirely. So, you excited, bub? Yeah. I'm excited, even if he's not. And in the next movie, in the fifth one, we meet my favorite character. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for that. Five minutes later. Who just dropped in? Robert Pattinson from the White House. From the, I thought you said the White House. <laughs> <laughs> the White House. It's a great movie. He dropped in like the vampire he is. Two hours later. So we just finished the fourth movie. That's it for the night. We're going to go to bed. It's like 11-ish. 11.30, something like that. We're going to go to bed and we're going to watch the last four movies tomorrow. What was your opinion on Goblet of Fire? Uh, probably my least favorite so far. Really? Like I said, not, it felt like nothing happened for the first half of the movie. I will say the beginning was a lot of filler. There, I feel like everything, it's because the books explain everything so much that the books are very wordy going into backstory, so the film is trying to copy literally everything, and it just doesn't translate as well onto film, where sometimes it just seems like more bloated than it needs to be. Mm-hmm. What was your high point and low point in the movie? I don't even think there was a single high point. What was your one. favorite quote in the movie? I'll give you a hint. So he turns to me and goes, is that the dude from Doctor Who? Mm-hmm. And then he looks at me at one point and goes, wait, what's this movie rated? Did I hear him say that correctly? Oh, uh, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. So David Tennant's in the movie, for those who were not aware. And at one point he turns to Dumbledore and just goes, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Tom just looks at me and just goes, wait, what's this movie rated? Like, did I just hear what I think I just heard? So you did not enjoy this movie? No, and Goblet was the first one to be PG-13, so Goblet onward are PG-13, but the first three were PG. What did you think of the scene once they reached the cup? Did you at least like that scene? Did you like the movie from then on? Not really. Really? Interesting. I feel like he's not going to like the rest of the movies, but he's giving them a shot, and that's all that I can ask from him. I'm very proud of you. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go to bed, and we're gonna pick up tomorrow with the rest of the Harry Potter movies. The next morning. Don't mind me wearing the exact same thing for a second day in a row. I'm not leaving the house. It's like wearing your PJs two days in a row. So, day two begins now. We're about to watch Order the Phoenix. Are you excited, bub? We're gonna meet my favorite character. Are you excited? Is that when you're going to pull out your wand and be all... Yes, I will pull out my wand. I was trying to buy her wand at the Harry Potter store. Mm -hmm. When we went to New York, we went to the Harry Potter store. And, fine, spoiler, my favorite character is Tonks. And they did not have her wand in stock. So I bought Ginny's because it's a cute wand and Ginny is a backup bad bitch. But, like, Tonks is the OG bad bitch. And Tonks is a Hufflepuff, like me. We love Tonks. Two hours later. So, Order of the Phoenix complete. Five movies down. What do you think of Order of the Phoenix? Uh, I still didn't like it. Better than the last one. It felt like this one had a lot less filler, but I still didn't care for it. Did you care at all about Sirius dying? Uh. Harry's only family died. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And you don't care. No. Nope. He is heartless. I just don't care about Harry. Who do you like in the series? If you don't like Harry, who do you like? I like Snape. I like Dumbledore. You like Snape? Yeah. Really? Yeah. When he just bullies Harry because he had a crush on Harry's mom? Yeah. I don't like Harry, so if he's going to bully Harry, then it's okay by me. Although that other lady I hate, she can fall off the building. He hates Umbridge, so we have one victory. What do you think of Tonks? 
my favorite little badass bitch. I feel like she barely even did anything. Well, she's my favorite. Like, did she even have a line in the movie? Yes. Don't call me Nymphadora and her hair turned bright red. Mm hmm She's a lot more in the books, okay? I was gonna say, like, it felt like there was, like, her character didn't even need to exist. Like, it was just there. That's mean. What do you think of Luna? Mm. So we're about to go into Half-Blood Prince, which I was not a huge fan of it because I'm just going to be 100% honest. I don't remember what happened in Half-Blood Prince. Like, I remember the big, like, ending spoiler of who the Half-Blood Prince is. But, like, I don't remember really anything else that happens in Half-Blood Prince. So, for that reason, I'm going to say that I was not a huge fan of Half-Blood Prince if it wasn't big enough to stick out in my mind. So, let's see how this one goes. What do you think of Helena Bonham Carter? I mean, I can't stand her in general, so... Like this is she, what I'm dealing with. Like, she's the worst part of Fight Club. No one thinks Fight Club when they think of her. Nobody. That's the only thing I'd seen her in until I saw her in Alice in Wonderland. Sweeney Todd was one of her better roles. I can't stand Sweeney Todd, so... I can't stand you. Moments later. Anyone want to tell me how I forgot what happens in Six? Because, like, it just came back to my mind. And I realized that I think that the end of Half-Blood Prince is why I blacked out everything else that happened in Half-Blood Prince. Please don't judge me. Because I think that I just blocked all of Half-Blood Prince out of my mind for that one specific reason. I feel like it was just like a traumatic reaction. I just fully blocked out everything that's happened in Half-Blood Prince. So yes, I now remember Half-Blood Prince. I rescind my comments about forgetting. I have just blocked it from my mind as a trauma response. Two hours later. So officially done with Half-Blood Prince. And what do you think of Half-Blood Prince? Uh, that one is now my least favorite. More so than Goblet of Fire? Yep. At least Goblet of Fire felt like stuff happened. This felt like nothing happened until the last 20 minutes. It felt like filler till the final movie. I definitely agree, and I feel like that's why I didn't remember much of it. Like, that's why I blocked it out. How did you feel about the moment at the end? Mm. No emotions whatsoever? Nope. How are you this heartless? Yeah. You don't care when anybody dies. Nope. No matter who kills them. Nope. I like Snape. Team Snape. You also just said, right before we started this, that you like Dumbledore. Yeah, but I like Snape more because Alan Rickman. You only like Snape because it's Alan Rickman playing him. Pretty much. You motherfucker. Yeah. I can't stand you. Oh well. How do you feel about Harry and Ginny? Mm. You just have really no opinion on the plot of the movies at all? No. You really can't stand this movie series, can you? Not really. This I, makes me so sad. I like the Quidditch parts, but that's about it. And I liked Big Chess in the first movie, and there should be more Big Chess. I mean, they're not doing traps right now. I mean, they are, but not those kinds of traps. I want Big Chess. Of course you do. So we are going to take a break before we go into the last two movies. We're going to go get some vegan gluten-free pizza for me. And he wants to try Little Caesars because he's never tried Little Caesars in his life. I get a mustache. <laughs> I mean, you also have an actual mustache. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go to two different pizza places and get pizza before we watch the last two movies. And, yeah. Oh, we are allowed to leave. I know that in the intro I said that I'm currently recovering from COVID. I am more than 10 days out. I am allowed to leave. Am I in the best shape? Not really. Am I allowed to leave? Yes. Many hours later. So, Deathly Hollows Part 1 is down. What do you think? I still didn't really like it, but that was probably the most entertaining one since Chamber of Secrets to me. He is a robot and emotionless, though. Uh, no feels about Hedwig at all. And in the moment that pained me, he laughed at Dobby dying. What do you have to say for yourself? That's 
not <laughs> nice! It's Pip! My cat is sitting across the room staring at us, wanting his food. That's all that it is. Mm-hmm. How do you have no upset feelings about Dobby dying? Because he's not real. He's made of computers. So you just can't immerse yourself into a movie. You just don't get upset about fictional characters because you can't fully immerse yourself into the world? Is that what I'm getting? I mean, I like Scooby-Doo when Shaggy was talking to Scoobs. What? In the Scooby-Doo movie, Scooby-Doo. I've never seen the Scooby-Doo movies. I've seen the cartoon, but not the movies. I don't care that Freddy Prince Jr. is in them! I know that that's why you care! I'm sorry, I get this reaction for Scooby-Doo, but no reaction to Dobby! I don't like you. Also, gonna give a shout out that my nephew's name was specifically mentioned in the movie. And my sister did not name him after the movie, but, like, his name was still directly in the movie. So, like, gotta give my nephew a little shout out. You look confused. You're just staring. <laughs> Just ready for it to end. What would you say your favorite part of the movie was? I don't know. I just, it felt like more was happening in this one than the past, like, four movies. Like, the part when they went into his house was cool, I guess. Although the old lady was weird. So, you mean going into the old lady's house, not going into the Lovegood house? Right. Didn't, didn't you say that was the house's parents got killed like next to that the house his parents were killed in was burned down they went into the other woman's house yeah so going into that woman's house you liked that part sure when she turned into the snake yeah okay did you like when they went to the love goods house mm. this is all i'm getting from him mm -hmm. how did you feel about the wedding scene I will give him credit. It might be because we're watching the movies back to back, and it might be because I said that Floor kissing Ron on the forehead was weird because she married Ron's brother in the future. But when he saw Floor, first thing I was mouth was, "Hey, that's the girl from the Goblet of Fire." I'm gonna give him credit. He pays some attention. I asked you how you felt about the wedding, and your response is to ignore me and keep eating. Oh. Uh. The wedding that Hall Uncle Cooper was at? We're not talking about One Tree Hill. We're literally talking about the movie we just watched. Yeah, it was a wedding. Yeah. I had no responses from him about anything. Emotionless. All he cares about is his pizza. Like a typical man. Three hours later. So, we have officially finished the Harry Potter series. What's your opinion on the last movie? Only on the last movie. Um, yeah, stuff happened, at least. Honestly, I think this one's probably the best one since Chamber of Secrets, because again, it felt like stuff actually happened. Did you feel any emotions for any of the deaths? Um, I mean, I didn't like Voldemort, so like... Not even like, uh, you don't like him because he's a villain. I didn't find him to be a good villain, so... No feelings about Fred. Who's Fred? The twin that died. Oh, I forgot about him. <laughs> no feelings about Tonks or Lupin? Nope, because, nah. Are you going to once again say that my favorite character isn't important? I mean, again, maybe in the book she is, but she... Had what two lines of dialogue the whole franchise? Tonks is a bad bitch. Like again, they seemingly did. Like I figured you'd be more mad about that. That see, they seemingly did nothing with her in the movies. But she's still a bad bitch. And if you only saw the movies like me, you wouldn't know that. Like she literally has two bitch. lines. What was your favorite moment of the last movie? I don't think I really had one. There was a moment where he turned to me and went, oh, thank God, finally. Yeah, 
But that's because I don't like Helena Bottom Carter. And that was when Mama Weasley killed Bellatrix, because he doesn't like the actress who plays Bellatrix. Which, I'm offended, but... So, entire series. Favorite and least favorite movie. Oh, favorite's still the first one. Worst is easily, um, Half-Blood Prince. Really? Okay. Half-Blood Prince felt like nothing happened for the entire movie. I Wait, mean, that was like half of them, but... You also hated Goblet of Fire, though, so I really thought that it was still gonna be Goblet of Fire. Nah, Goblet of Fire, I put above five and six. You put it above Order of the Phoenix? Yeah, I didn't like that one. Five and six just hmm. felt like nothing happened. Like, Goblet I was underwhelmed with, I thought I was gonna like it more, but at least I remember stuff about it. I already can't tell you anything that happened in five and six. Five, we met the entire Order of the Phoenix. So, like, six was the one where you said it looked like Lord of the Rings. I mean, I felt that with, like, all of them. It just kind of felt like not Lord of the Rings for part of it. Especially, like, the final one with the battles just felt like this feels like something that'd be in Lord of the Rings. So, all in all, my assumption is you would not rewatch. No, the only one that, like, I actually kind of liked was the first one. If I wanted to have another weekend of rewatching them at some point in the future, would you be willing to if it's at least, like, a year in the future so I give you plenty of time? I wouldn't pay any attention. Like, I don't care. But I didn't hate... Oh, well, no, Half-Blood Prince was garbage. Like, I didn't like any of the rest other than the first one, but, like, none of them were, like, unwatchable. They're just not my thing. Okay, that's fair. And you know what? He gave them a shot. He gave them a chance. That's more than a lot of people are willing to do, and that's more than he would normally do. I so. still like the games more than the movies. The PS1 games, that is. 1 and 2. Those are fun. So, if you were to rank the movies, from your favorite to least favorite. 1, 2... It would then be, like, Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2, but I feel like that's hard to separate. Like, I mean, Part 2 I thought was better, yeah. but, like, at the end of the day, they're pretty much just one massive movie. But, True. So it'd be 1, 2, 8, 7, and then Azkaban, then Goblet, then 5, then 6. You rank Goblet above Order of the Phoenix. That is shocking. Given yeah. how much you disliked it while we were watching it. I was underwhelmed by it. Five and six I just thought were straight bad. Like, just boring. Hmm. Okay, then. Well, there you have it. The true opinions on Harry Potter from somebody who has never seen the series before. I saw the first one. That was it. You haven't seen the series before. No, but I saw the first one 20-something years ago and just hadn't seen it since. Three weeks later. Hey friends, Editing Maya here. Um, I just realized I never filmed an outro. I just wanted to say thank you for watching. I mean, obviously you gathered from this that my fiance is not a big Harry Potter fan. I am. But you know what? He gave it a shot. That's all I can ask for of him. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. Justice for Tonks. Tonks is a bad bitch. Uh, if you did like this, maybe you'll put up more content like this. Let me know if you like this. Otherwise, for my normal content, that'll be coming back. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, all of that fun stuff. Because as we all know, YouTube's broken. If you don't hit the bell, you won't know when I upload. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I don't know, but I've been told the world outside is oh so cold. So cold.